Greetings to the whole world, science. This is Luandile here, the leader and the instructor of Manuka School. And today we're actually going to be doing exercise 2.18. In case you didn't know, this is the exercise. So we got to write a program that displays the following table. Cast floating point numbers, numbers into integers, okay? This is the table we got to display. And in case you're watching this video for the very first time, this is the textbook we're actually using. And I will also leave a link on top of my main method because as of the time of recording this video, I am not yet qualified to put links on my YouTube channel. But I am, I am going to get qualified immediately uh immediately i happen to get more people who happen to be interested on my channel okay so that's why if you haven't yet subscribed i would really appreciate you do or uh, yeah basically that's pretty much it so let's try to uh give out our solution how okay another thing this happens to be one of those problems or exercises rather that will that i will only give one solution reason being <laughs> it's it's a straightforward problem so there's nothing tricky about it there are no i mean there's only a few mistakes you might probably do right so that's why i decided to give only one solution for it okay it's actually called 2.18 I'll call it B because we'll only be having one solution usually if I've got two solutions I call them A and C and if I have one solution I call them I only call that solution B right so that's the idea behind my naming convention okay okay what I want to do is is to have this constant final I want to go final int 1 I forgot the word static got the word static of course in fact i shouldn't put the word static why am i <laughs> why am i so stupid because we are inside the method so there's no need for the modifier static okay so second one two two is gonna be that and final in you see uh, I'm actually used to naming uh, my constant giving my constant a name with only caps right that is to say my constant will always my constant will always be will always have capital letters okay so for it's not like you have to that's what i'm used to final int five and then you put a five here and lastly we need a six no one thing though this is of course not a best solution it's just one 
out of many ways of doing it right. I make this as constant because in my program there you would not change. So we're not using a scanner this time around. But what we are going to need is a way to display our solution. Our table, I mean, so you guys, here we gotta display heading. So you can do that by using the print clean method because we wanna print our heading and go to the next line so that we can start printing our table. So we'll have a backslash t, probably, okay, it's a backslash t, and then b backslash t, which is tab, and then lastly, and then lastly, we put this method pow a b n b i mean what we then do is to start printing so let's follow the pattern here we've got one up to five so and starting from one okay b we've got two onwards so pow is actually that so it's b it's the a in fact we, sh we should import the math part parts i mean okay we gotta go system dot out print lean of course you can go one backslash t you can go one and then we concatenate that with backslash t and then we go two Then we go to, I mean, again, concatenate that with, because we want to move four spaces. We want to move four spaces horizontally. And then finally, you would have math.pow of one and two once we do this we could again i told you guys i'm totally against the whole idea of copying and pasting because usually that leads to logical errors we're gonna go to concatenate that with backslash t then we can continue there with three is it of course it is three we can continue there with backslash t and then lastly we find math.pow of our A is 2, our B is 3. Of course, we could have used numbers or rather values, not constants. But that will mean we will be having many 
mean, we'll be having numbers repeatedly. I mean, we'll be having duplicates of numbers. Of course, perhaps that's the best way of doing this problem, but uh, uh, I mean, I want to hear your opinion on that. Again, what I'm trying to say here is, you see, what we decided to do is to have constants. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. I mean, and six, I mean. Of course, we could simply delete everything, all these constants, and put ones, and put numbers instead of this constant here. Now, my question is, like, which solution do you think would be better than the other if we had to do that? So that's what I want to hear from you. Let me know which solution will be better than the other. Because right now we're using constants. Of course, using variables would be a worse solution because these numbers, they are only, they don't change. We never assigned different values to these uh, variables we have. So it, be, it will be incorrect calling them variables. So that's why we call them constants. It's because they don't change. So if right here we will put 3. Not T. It's 3 and 4. Why can I type every day? Okay. Again, system dot out dot print all in four. That's less T concatenate that with five. Also concatenate that with with six. I mean with f with uh, the actual results of saying 4 to the exponent of 5 4 5 it's not math it's math dot power Now we are on our very last line. I understand if you starting to get annoyed. It's just that I'm totally against the whole idea of copying and pasting one's code. Because I've messed up a lot doing that before on crucial projects. So I don't want you to go down that path. So it's backslash T. And then we simply, oh, I did not concatenate my tab with my constant. Okay, that's why we had an error. Net dot pow. Simply put a 5 and the 6. 5. Six seems like that's gonna be it for this tutorial. That let's try to hit the run button and see what we get. Wow! Oh, we forgot something. You remember they told us to cast floating point numbers in, into integers, and we decided not to do that. So no wonder we're having this problem. So. However, that's pretty straightforward. It's simply a matter of casting. Let's start over again and see what we get.
boom we got the exact results we expected so that should be it for this tutorial you guys in case you did not subscribe please do so and again i really want to hear you guys what you think w which solution would have been better i mean between this one we have and the one we would have in case we decided not to use this constant in case we decided to put a numbers such as one for instance here and two so on and so forth and keep and doing this so this is what we would basically have you see so for instance for this line this is what you would have so my question is which solution would be better between the one we're having at the moment and the one that would use numbers these values values instead of constants basically that's how it is now that i've already run the program and you've seen how it how it works it is time you give me your opinion in regards to this program i just recorded okay that's pretty much it you guys take care see you on the next tutorial which is exercise 2.19 cheers i'm gone